People often ask me how to get into project management. They find it mission impossible. Today I will show you two ways to get into project management, a hard way and a much easier way. And towards the end, I will show you an action plan based on your current situation. The first way is the most used way. It's the most common way. You apply for project management jobs. You notice that there is a diploma requirement. So you pass the, the, the diploma and you have the diploma and you go for interviews. But it's very difficult for people to hire you because you have no experience. You might have delivered stuff in your working life, but uh, the trick with project management is you need to deliver stuff using a strict protocol, a strict methodology. So you do not have that. It would be a gamble for them to give you money because project managers are, are expensive. If you have nothing to back that up, if they are not sure that you can deliver according to their principles. So this is the challenge that you have. Now let's have a look at the second way. So in order for me to explain the second way, I need to introduce you to project management structure that people are not often aware of. So it's called the project office or the project management office. So this is a structure that is often led by a manager, project office manager. And within that structure, we have project managers, of course, we have program managers, and there is another team where you have project officers, project coordinators, project administrators. And this is the team that we will be targeting. This is a weak link. This is the path of least resistance, if you like, for us to get into project management. And I've seen that many times, so believe me, this is very easy to get into project management that way. See, once you are in that team, as project managers are often very busy, it's only a matter of time until you do some proper project management work. Not project coordinator, but project management work. They will give you a small project to run and the project will become big or a project manager will leave and they will ask you to take over. So you will be more or less a project manager already. So don't go greedy, keep a low profile, do this. And after it will be much easier for either you become a project manager in that company or to look for a job somewhere else. So project offices are often very busy and they don't want to keep hiring project managers because it's uh, very expensive. So they would hire a project coordinator or even they would have an internal transfer to get a project coordinator in their team so they can help uh, the project managers. And then as mentioned before, they will start giving them some project management job. So you need to apply for these roles, it'll be easier for you to apply for these roles. What you need before applying to this job, you need to get some basic knowledge at least, because they would hire, I don't want to say anyone, but at least if you can demonstrate that you know how to run a meeting, uh, how to write a report, then you will be halfway there. And I'll give you a link, I have a, a very cheap course, I think around $10, where I give you all the templates, everything that you need. And if you follow that course, then you will be able to get into a project coordinator job, no problem. Yeah, so I wanted to stress that this is real. I've seen that in some very recognizable companies. You hire a project coordinator or you have an internal transfer. They help the project managers a little bit at the beginning. And after uh, some time from day one, they do some proper project management work because they have a lot of projects, they want them to be delivered, they want them to be attended, so they ask the project coordinator to, to chair meetings from day one sometimes. It's crazy, it's nuts, but this is happening. And um, sometimes as a, as a seasoned project manager, you cringe a little bit when you see the way the project coordinators run meetings because they, they don't have uh, the experience, obviously. Now let's have a look at some action plans. Scenario number one, you currently do not have a job. So if you've been applying for project manager's job, I would suggest that you take a step back maybe, you, you lower your expectations and you apply for project coordinator jobs. Because with the experience that you have or that you don't have, if you have a very good knowledge and if you can answer some questions well for project coordinators, I tell you what, you will get this job in a much easier way than you would get for a project manager. So uh, apply for project coordinator job, demonstrate some knowledge, and then you will be able to get that job. Scenario number two, you work in a small company. So if you work in a small company, there is not much structure, they, they don't even have project managers. Call yourself a project manager. Run what you run currently as a project. Chair meetings, write reports, do all this. And then uh, ask your company if they'd be interested if you become a project manager. And then in parallel, you know, it might be time to leave your company maybe and just start applying for project coordinator's job. Third scenario, you're in a large company. And I think you're in luck if you work in a large company because it's, it's the easiest way that you can get into project management. You can demonstrate some interest uh, towards the project office because if you are a large company, you have a project office. You might not be aware of it, but there is one somewhere. So depending on your experience, you could apply directly for a project manager, that, that, could, that could work. Or if you don't have as much experience, you could apply directly to a project coordinator job. 
So this is, uh, I suppose, another way for you. If you work in a large company, I think it will be easier for you just to get into a project coordinator job. So that's it. This is the backdoor entry. If you try that, let me know how you go. If you have more questions, leave questions in comments. 